Okay, so right here, we're gonna be working more of that breaststroke kick that we just saw in the fist closed and then hands open side stroke. So, you know, you're gonna see the legs come up. I wanna point my toes out and I'm gonna press them back in together. So I'm gonna kinda of switch around so you can be different sides. Notice I'm not bringing my knees up to my chest. I'm trying to make the angle open between my upper body and lower body so I don't create too much drag. The legs are coming back and I'm gonna feel a little bit of pressure on the inside of the boot. This is really the only kick that you can do with boots on that's gonna get you going anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna demo a little bit of a side stroke kick, you know, getting very little out of this. This is not a great kick to be doing with boots and mostly what I'm feeling right here is a lot of slipping and the only thing really keeping me up is air in my lungs right there. Okay, we're gonna see the breaststroke kick from the side. If you don't have a pull deep enough to do the breaststroke kick vertically, then we're gonna kinda lay over and breaststroke kick where the legs come up. You wanna get them as close to the butt as you can. Try not to bring those knees down too much. Okay, we're gonna keep the heels kind of close to the surface and then kick straight back. That's kind of the idea. Now I'm gonna push off the wall a little bit so you can see that I am getting some pressure on the inside of that boot getting me moving forward. Okay, it's not a ton, but it's better using the, the boots, you know, kicking for a little bit of forward propulsion than just dragging them. So I definitely recommend learning how to do that breaststroke kick well. It will help your boots and cami swimming immensely. Mm -hmm.